Hello YouTube, if you saw last Wednesday's video, you know I did a little bit of work on my Dirta tank and I was just noticing there's just not enough plants. So I'm gonna be taking plants out of this tank and then planting it in the Dirta tank, so stay tuned. <laughs> So here's the tank we were talking about in case you missed last Wednesday's video. And I knew when I set this tank up that it was kind of dumb to do a dirty tank with only stem plants, but I wanted to do it anyways. I've come to realize that it's just plain dumb. Stem plants are water column feeders and I knew that, everyone knows that, but at the same time I thought it would be cool to have like Lagwidia only tank, which is what all these plants are, except for the little plant right here. And uh, it's just not working out. I need to get some root feeders in there, some heavy root feeders, some crypts, some Amazon swords. I'm gonna be robbing from various tanks to try to find those plants. So I'm gonna take a look around and just see what I can find to put in here. So the first aquarium I'm gonna be looking at and stealing plants from is gonna be the 40 gallon breeder over here that's next to the 125 and uh, above the other 40 here. And what I'm gonna be taking out of here are these Crypt Florida Sunsets. There's one pretty good size one there another one back there another one in the back and i might see if i can find some side shoots in the big mother plant here we'll see but i'm gonna get those out and get them ready actually i could probably just reach in right now and take them uh, let's see if i can do this i might even take out this is crypt willisii so i might even take some of that out because the uh Dwarf Chainsword here is definitely taken over. But let's get this out. See how much of a mess we can make in here. This is not a dirty tank, so it shouldn't be too messy. Got some of the Chainsword in here. Get that out of there. There we go. Nice red pink plant. Again, that is Crypt Florida Sunset. I'll grab this one back here. Oh, this one's definitely got bigger root structure. Try to dig down deep. Thankfully, this is not a dirty tank, or this would be a real mess. Of course, got some algae with it. Get off of there. Oh, broke off a leaf. That's all right. It's bound to happen. Okay, there's another one. See, this one's way bigger. It does have some deficiencies in it. And we'll get this one back here as well. Now the only bad part of this is I'm almost 100% positive these are gonna die back a little as soon as I put them in a new environment. But hopefully it won't take too long to recover. Oh, I don't see any other little starters anywhere. Not really anything down here. Yeah, I mean, there's some down here, but I think I'm gonna leave those. Nice epistogramma there. All right, I think that's a good start. Well, at least out of this tank. All right, we'll put the top on here. I'm just gonna leave those floating until I find all the plants I want, and then I can get a game plan. Pretty much nothing in here I want. These crypts are all way too small. Ooh, here's a nice shot for you. Oh yeah, let me back up a little bit so I can zoom in on them and get more glare. Bane of my existence. Here's an L75 Parapleco. One of my favorite. Pretty sweet if you ask me. Let's see if we can see anything else in here. There's something down here. Uh, this is similar to the L75, but it's a bit different. Hey, Honduran Redpoint, I don't want to focus on you. You can see it still has almost the same patterning, but it's far bigger if he was to come out. And then it looks like we have another L75 hiding. There goes that one over here. This one doesn't have as good as color, but you can still see the polka dots. Uh, the L239s are in here, but I doubt we'll ever see that. 
Here's a big splash tetra back here. I was trying to find these a few videos ago. Anyways, moving on. This tank right here, not taking anything out of there. And I just got pretty much jungle valve over here, so nothing out of there. Uh, I got a mess down here on the floor. That's all Java fern, so that's not gonna work. So really, the only other tank I have to steal from is this crypt tank here, which I recently robbed a bunch out of already. So now it's really gonna get barren here. Got some Anubius Golden back there. That's doing well. Kind of neat. You can see they've been digging it up back there. So something's either spawned or getting ready to spawn. There is it. There is a bristle nose pleco. Uh, some uh, dwarf chain loaches in here. Pretty neat. All right. Let's see if I can really make a mess. This tank does have dirt in it, so this could get real messy pretty quick. Especially because I'm not the most patient person in the world. And you really have to take it slow when you're pulling out. Ow! <laughs> that kind of hurt. I don't know what the heck just bit me, but something got me good. Uh, let's go with this one. I'm going to try to get the smallest ones. Hopefully they don't have large root structures to pull the dirt up. Ah, something's biting me again. Stop it. Jeez, why are they so angry? I'm biting the hand that be. Oh my gosh, it's the dwarf chain loaches. All right, got a couple here. Oh, oh a couple nice starters there. I'm gonna get this big one down in front. You really don't want crypts on the front. So I'll just climb up the glass and block everything. Boy, something is really digging into me. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just go with this for right now. I think I have I think I do have one more tank I can steal from I'm gonna take these ones out though All right, so we're back to this 40 breeder I must be losing it because I could have swore that I had some sword plants stashed away somewhere And I couldn't find them in any of my tanks. So I'm gonna come back and steal this critical Elysi right here There's still another bunch somehow growing down here in this really dark corner so I'm just going to take this little patch right here since it's going to quickly get outcompeted by the chain sword. Get rid of as much of this algae as I can. Ah, oh, it won't stick to me. Now this could get messy because I'm just going to yank this. Oh man, a whole bunch of algae right here. Get these dead spots and the algae just goes crazy. Look at that. Oh, get out of there. Get that bunch, get that bunch out of there. Alright. Get right there. Why not grab a little bit more of this algae? Might as well since I'm in here getting wet anyways. It's like half algae, half moss. But anyways, we're all set. Let's pull this out. Oh, found a snail. Or what used to be a snail. Empty. That's unfortunate. It's a pretty massive clump, actually. Get these few over here. Nice big handful. I'm just gonna just gonna toss that in there like so and now we have some planting to do All right, so I got all my crypt floating here and you know if I was smart I would have just done crypts from the start and put the stem plants in the tank that I just pulled the crypts out of But I'm not smart. I always do things the hard way. I gotta do everything at least twice Mostly I do it three or four times to be honest, but that's the fun playing around trying new things failing and uh, you don't really fail as long as you learn something. And I definitely learned something on this tank. So we're moving forward. We're putting root, heavy, heavy root feeders in here. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film this. Maybe it'll time lapse. Maybe I'll talk through it. I don't know. But I'm just going to get to work and then worry about editing later.
And here is the layout I went with, and even though it's really cloudy, I think it still looks a ton, ton better. Obviously, more plants are going to make any tank look better, at least in my opinion. You'll notice I left most of the stem plants in there. I'm going to leave them in there, and if they do well, fine. If they don't, I'll slowly pull them out and move them somewhere else. And uh, if it starts looking ugly or ratty, I'll pull them out too and just leave the crypts in there. But we'll give this a little bit of time, let it clear up, and maybe check back in tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but I definitely want to get this on film for everyone uh, when the water is clear. So just going to hang out, give it some time, and see how long it takes. All right, just checking in briefly on the 75-gallon tank now that it's all cleared up. Definitely have some bare patches here, but still looks pretty good. Still lots of plants in here, and hopefully they'll grow back. It'll take forever because they're crypts, and crypts take forever. That's what they do. But at least the dirty tank is going to look a lot better. And we can see the 40-gallon breeder is nice and cleared up now. And what I'm hoping to do here is just have this chain sword, this dwarf chain sword right here, just kind of carpet everything and I'll slowly start removing all the stem plants, uh, get rid of this big ball of mess of plants up here. And so I'll just have the big crypt over here and then it'll kind of come down to just a sea of the dwarf chain sword, which I think will look pretty neat. Got lots of glare, lights are still on. All right, and that leads us to the dirty tank. You can see the water is nice and clear now. It is the next day, which is why all these tanks are nice and clear but I think it looks a ton better. I still need to work on the hardscape. Just a few little branches laying on the ground here just don't do it for me. But I do need to make a collecting trip, go up in the mountains and get some more rocks and wood and things like that. I do have some wood soaking, so hopefully it won't take too long for it to uh, get waterlogged and sink. But it usually takes a couple months, so better start on the next batch now. But I just think it looks a ton better. It's gonna take a while for this to fill in. They are crypts, but the uh, stem plants will add some uh, cover in there as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this tank now. It was definitely kind of an eyesore before, but it's looking pretty good now. And I'll just continue as plants grow out of the other tanks, moving them over here. I don't think it'll take too long to fill up doing it that way, so we'll see if I can make that happen. All right, YouTube, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had some fun. I know I did. I feel a lot better about that tank, a lot more color, a lot more life. So hopefully it'll all fill in and look awesome. I hope to see everyone Monday on the live stream, 5 p.m. Pacific. Otherwise, have a good weekend.